YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's a man who likes to R-A-N-T, dropping a fresh VID for you. And I'm back, because in between this video and my last one, my tower on my computer decided it didn't want to work anymore, so it took some time to uh, replace it. But I have a new one now, and we're ready to go, and I'm excited because Sunday is Survivor Series. And this card, over the last few weeks, has gone from something that makes me think, meh, this was really kind of passable to you. You know what? Now you've piqued my interest, and uh, in particular, what I want to talk about this video is the women's Survivor Series match. Because now that Charlotte has won the SmackDown Women's Championship, she can't compete in that match. And Shane has suggested that the replacement for her will be revealed on Sunday. And if you saw the thumbnail for this video, you know who I'm putting my money on as far as the pony I'm expecting to return. But just in case you don't know who that is, uh, <clears throat> I'm expecting Paige to come back. And traditional logic would dictate that since she's returning, the SmackDown side is going to win. However... Traditional logic gets thrown out the window the second that Asuka is on the raw on the raw side and Asuka has beaten everybody and until she gets the raw women's championship, I don't see that changing anytime soon. So the purpose of making this video is to talk about my expectations that I want out of WWE when it comes to Paige. Now, as we all know, Paige is far from a saint. One of the reasons I like her is because she's one of the most real divas, I think, as far as she refuses to conform to the typical cookie-cutter options that a women's wrestler has these days. She's very true to herself. And the fact that WWE is hinting that she will be coming back um, makes me think they're willing to look past um, her transgressions, which may or may not be her fault, depending on your point of view. That being said, for this and her career, um, what SmackDown needs is what Raw already has in Asuka. They need one truly dominant, gifted, in-ring performer on the women's side, and I believe Paige could be it. I believe Paige could be a consistent challenger for Charlotte's Women Championship, or whoever it is. Uh, don't get me wrong, they have other workers I'd like to see push too, but Paige is that women's wrestler who, as far as I've seen, both in her work in NXT and on the main roster, she can have a good match with anybody, and can tell a good story, and can be one of those divas that can work face or heel, whichever suits her or whatever the story calls for. That's truly a rare combination. <clears throat> and so, I don't care if she's on the losing side at Survivor Series. I do care that she be placed, and she, she uh, doesn't have to instantly be inserted into the main event picture, don't, don't get me wrong. If WWE wants her to work herself back up and earn that prominent spot in the SmackDown women's division, by all means, go ahead and do so. What I don't want to see is um, Emma levels of jobbing. I know she's a raw person. Um, most of the people I'm going to suggest are raw persons. I don't want to see Alicia Fox uh, level of losing for this person because regardless of what you think about Paige's past, she is too good to simply job out the rest of her contract. And now that the biggest source of her problems in her boyfriend, fiancé, Whatever the heck he is, uh, Del Rio is over in Global Forest Wrestling and away from the WWE umbrella. That's a lot of stress that she doesn't need to worry about. Which is why they drafted her and Del Rio to separate brands in the Superstar Shakeup when that happens. So now, I really think that 
you know, Paige has been gone so long, and absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder. So I'm super excited for Paige's um, comeback. Do I think she, again, do I think she's going to win at Survivor Series? No. No, unfortunately not, because no one is stopping the whirlwind that is Asuka anytime soon. I do want a strong showing from her, and I want her booked as a capable female competitor who is worthy to be under the WWE umbrella. And obviously, WWE feels that too. Otherwise, why are you bringing her back? Anyway, you could have just had her sit at home for the rest of her contract and never speak of Paige again. WWE hadn't done that. I'm assuming she's coming back. I could be wrong. They could be bringing back Eva Marie. Please, please don't bring back Eva Marie. I don't know where she is. I don't care where she is. She needs to stay gone. Paige is who I'm pulling for. Paige is who I want back. And I'm sure that's who most of the people who watch my videos are hoping comes back at Survivor Series as well. Um, what are some of your favorite Paige memories in ring? Don't bring, don't bring any, any adult video exploits into this. Um, if by chance I see any comments li linking, uh, to any of her exploits, which can be found on the internet, I, I'm, I might be tempted to yell at you a little bit, but any, anything that is actually wrestling related to Paige in the comments, uh, please feel free to post those down below. Um, what what are your predictions for the Survivor Series matchups? I'm not going to cover the whole card um, because you guys don't seem to watch that. And plus, it's one of those videos where when you watch it once, you have no reason to watch it again. Uh, so Paige's potential return gave me the most to talk about. And so that's why I made this. Um, Thank you guys for watching. If you don't, if you like this video, click that thumbs up. It really helps it, and, and helps grow the channel because it gets me searched for more often. If you don't want to miss a video by the Wrestling Ranter, click that subscribe button and then click that little bell icon to make sure that the notifications of when I make a new video uh, go to the device of your choice or the email of your choice or whatever it is, however you get your YouTube fix. Thank you guys for watching. Ranter off the soapbox. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.